To me, the genesis of future mobility dates back to 1990. At that time, as a, a part of the University of Michigan solar car team, we had a chance to run a race across the U.S. and then across Australia over 3,000 kilometers. It's a grueling race that we actually stood third place and beat several major OEMs as a result of it. But this was very exciting, the fact that you could cross a continent on pure sun energy opened my eyes on what the future mobility could be as a clean, green solution in transportation. Having worked in electric vehicles for 20 years, I see a shift that's coming in the entire industry. From higher oil prices, to the impacts of climate change, to governments looking at new policies on how to promote clean energy products, to consumers' mindsets changing, and a very important part, a big shift in technology. All these macro conditions, probably for the first time in the last 100 years, have come together. And this is going to be the framework of a shift in the entire technology. What we're really experiencing is a change in the 100-year-old DNA of the automotive industry. There's a switch from the industry moving from gasoline-powered engines controlled mechanically to electrically, a change from oil to renewable energy, electricity, and hydrogen to drive these vehicles, from standalone vehicles to a vehicle that are going to be connected, from a vehicle that was designed to do everything to a vehicle that will be designed for specific uses from an ownership model of people wanting to buy and own things to a model that's going to look at virtual ownership and take this to the next level. These changes in technology in the entire DNA is going to create a set of opportunities and are going to dictate that the future mobility is something that's not going to be just uh, clean and green, but it's also going to be clever and it's going to be convenient and it's going to be smart. Sometimes I wonder with all the innovations in the auto industry, are we really heading in the right direction? Cars are getting faster, but roads are getting more congested. Cars are getting much bigger, but fewer people are going in them. We see more and more pollution. We see more and more congestion. Is that really where the future needs to be? The future of mobility is no esoteric concept. It's really a lot of tangible factors as we see what's happening here. We look at urbanization. We look at the environment concerns. We look at the growth in our city centers. We look at the consumer's expectations today of mobility. It's far beyond. Our experiences, our requirements from consumer mindsets are something much more than the fact that they want cars that perform well, cars that are convenient, and cars that probably meet their hygiene requirements. There is going to be a shift in this. Cars need to get clever. Cars need to be far more cleaner. In fact, use different forms of energy. Car needs to be smarter and be part of an ecosystem. And all of this coming together is going to be driven by consumer requirements. This, to me, is going to start to define the future mobility. So the future mobility is going to be driven by the five C's of clean, convenient, clever, connected, and cost-effective. Clean not only defines a product, but the entire value chain from when you design a product to when it is used and the end of its life. To start off with, we look at plants that are far more greener, plants that are powered by solar energy, plants that are built around the concepts of sustainability and ensure that every part of energy is minimized. Processes that are very unique, that use minimum amount of energy, that avoid the use of things like painting by use pre-impregnation of the panels, by giving back energy in the test processes so you use the minimum amount of energy while you manufacture cars. All of this has really enabled us to be the first platinum automotive IGPC rated plant in the country to make a real difference in how manufacturing could change and be more and more green. This also allows us to run our plant a large portion of that with solar energy and each car when it's built get its first charge from solar what we call as being born green. Not only are we talking about the plant being green but the products, electric cars, have zero tailpipe emissions and have very low noise levels. In addition, while using it, people could use more and more renewable energies, which makes the entire value chain even more uh, lower on energy, as well as lower on cost. To take that to further, 
use of recyclabilities allows us to take the end of life to a next level and really close the entire chain of products from end to end being clean. This to me gives us a clean, green and sustainable value chain which really defines the future of mobility. Electric cars are extremely convenient with being automatic, easy to park and easy to drive. It makes a different way of how you would drive around city centers. The convenience goes far beyond the product. You're talking of a solution that you never need to visit a petrol bunk again, and you have home fueling. You're talking about a cup of coffee you can get a 25 minute charge and go over. Electric cars don't need any more messy engine oil changes, and this therefore allows you to even service your car at home, creating a next level of convenience in the entire chain. Convenience is going to be redefining the way people would own their cars, use their cars through the entire life cycle. Imagine the world with all your cars being connected like we're looking at. You're going to talk about new forms of virtual mobility where you could just get a car on hire as you hit a metro station. This is starting to define how convenience can shape the future of mobility. The cars of tomorrow are going to be connected connected to you as a user, connected to each other, and connected to the grid. In the case of Reva, we're going to be actually talking to your car every day, getting its heartbeat of how it's working. We're going to connect you to the other cars to look at how all of you put together could get us updates on what the traffic condition in a particular part of the city would be. Using the smartness of all of this, when you get home and plug in your car, you could actually power the grid back in case there's low energy available in the power or get power back at a time when energy costs you less. This level of connectivity is going to future define how things are going to come together. It's far beyond your car. It's actually the entire ecosystem that's coming together. So as we've seen cloud computing, the next is going to be the connected car revolution. And all of these cars are really going to be a set of a cloud that are going to kind of change the way we can see of how vehicles will go to in the future. With all the advancements in electronics and software, cars are becoming a lot clever. In the case of Reva, with over 10 computers and over 200 items being controlled, you really create a smart car. A complex energy management system monitors the entire car's performance, optimizing it. When you get home, you can plug in your car, and in case you have a power cut, your car can actually power your house. Cleverness goes far beyond that. By having connectivity to your car, we can remotely diagnose your vehicle. So if you've ever had a problem, you hardly need to go to a service center. We can access your vehicle and often fix the problem online. Clever is really worth taking your car and making it future ready. In the Reva, we've created upgradability. So imagine that five years from today, you would actually have a better car by upgrading system than what you bought today. Now that's really making something of the future of mobility. I think we all agree that the future of mobility is clearly defined by clean, connected, convenient, and clever. But if you do all of this and it's not cost effective, it doesn't make sense. So to me, cost effective is the key of how do you combine these C's to make something that's very different, that's value oriented, that an average person can use. And this is where we focused on. Electric cars cost less than a tenth of a gasoline powered car. Electric cars during the usage need very little service because you don't have oil change in other areas. Electric cars can be powered from the sun. Can you imagine never using a single cent, single rupee for the next 30 years on energy? This to me is the future of mobility. <laughs>